Okay, great morning. Oh, time to unpack the cards. You can't believe how heavy these are. <laughs> Dragging around every day. Oh, Lord have mercy. Sometime dragging everything in, you begin to feel like a pack mule. <laughs> Every day they go in, they go out, they go in, they go out. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, so let's see what we have. Move this back a little bit. Up. Oh, oh, oh. I go. Okay. Let's sort it out so we can. There we go. Okay. Let's do the ruffle shuffle and see what we get this morning. What is our energy of the day? Today is a day of rain purification. Start off with some purification. That's always a good thing to have. Moving forward, okay, get your canoe, get your canoe, journey time, it's a journey day, journey through truth, how did I, met? how did I, met? wait a minute, I got, <laughs> trying to shuffle two different decks of cards, that's good, I <laughs> That's not going to hardly work, right, is it? <laughs> and last but not least, we have solitude. We've got the polar bear of the north. So it is a day. It's a great day. We're journeying, taking our, but today is an internal journey, solitude. It's a day of, of being more alone rather than a day of yucking it up with friends, it's Saturday. Okay, it's a day of purification. Okay, see the beauty of what's around you. Start connecting, okay? And get rid of this drama around that you don't need to have. Purify it. Again, if you walk your path, and I always say that, honesty, integrity, transparency, sacredness. Sacredness is a big one today. If you're doing, again, raining, 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 purifying, purifying, See everywhere where as you are as sacred. Whatever you're participating, see it as sacred. Bring more sacredness into your life and it will make vast changes for you in how you feel about things and how you interact, how you react, okay? So again, today, take the day to understand it's a day of journey. <clears throat> Spend more time in solitude, okay? Solitude, and, and I wouldn't say on solitude because some people have this feeling that they, you know, they don't want to spend solitude time. They don't want to spend time with themselves. 
you know, they always are running away and covering over and I've got to have something to mask what's going on because I don't want to actually look at it. I don't want to actually confront it. I don't want to actually have to see what's there. Okay. But if you're actually going to make an internal journey, a spiritual journey, part of it is spending the time in solitude. Okay, this is like, uh, you know, when Native American, when you go on a vision quest, you're, you're spending time out in solitude, alone, with nature, without anything else around to distract you, okay, and seeking that vision, seeking that wisdom, seeking that knowledge, okay, which you don't get, you know, I think it's, one good thing um, with Native American things was <clears throat> they didn't have a lot of books. They weren't looking for knowledge in books, okay? It wasn't a lot of intellectual claptrap. <clears throat> and I think that's one thing that needs to be gotten away from. People read something and they think they have knowledge. No, they've read about something, but true knowledge and wisdom only comes when you have experienced it directly. Okay, so again, that takes being time in solitude, alone, and seeking uh, in, in order to progress. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here this morning. Don't forget, today's a day of journeying in solitude to purify what you already have. Namaste. Have a great morning. Aho.